Now we're going to add some throws to the wrist grabs. So my opponent grabs my wrist. First throw, I'm escaping the same way I did. But as I escape, I bring his hand into my hand here, and I'm going to strike underneath. Using the strike we saw at the beginning. And a lot of these strikes are designed to kind of soften my opponent up for submission holds. And there's a lot of submission holds I can do here. I can just turn his arm and go right for an elbow lock. Or the one that we chose for our curriculum is to bend the wrist. So I'm bending the wrist. And then I'm going to drive him down to his back. And when he hits the ground, pow, just like that right there. So his wrist is going to break right when I throw him to the ground. next wrist escape or wrist lock. This time my opponent grabs me this way. When I come here, when I push down, it hurts his wrist so he lets go. So now I'm going to grab his hand, not his wrist, but his hand so he can't escape and then I drive down and I take him down that way. The second one, we're here like this. From here, I'm going to bring one arm up. In the other escape, I can come here or I can come here. But now, I'm going to bring one hand up. And my other hand is going to reach under and grab. My fingers reach towards the meat of his thumb and I drive him down now. It's putting a lot of pressure on his wrist facing this way. Next technique, two against one. Two against one depends on how I decide to escape. If I'm doing this one to make him let go, I can apply the same wrist lock I did before. If my opponent tries to escape this wrist lock and he pushes his arm straight, now I come here and I make a straight elbow lock. And you're going to see that later in the curriculum. Though, but the one we chose for this level is to move in with an elbow. After I hit him with the elbow and I already hurt him, I'm going to grab him, keep this arm, I'm going to bring my head towards my knees, and I'm going to lift my right leg up to make the throw. Now, all four wrist locks. 